Welcome to Pipeline Effects University. Today you'll be learning about After Effects job submission. Let's go ahead and open up Cube. What we'll need to do first is install the in-app UI. This enables you to submit jobs from within your application. You only need to do this for the first time after installation or if you've upgraded Cube. Go to File, Install App UI, Install After Effects App UI. You'll need to select the Scripts folder under Applications, After Effects, and then Scripts. You can see here it's written the files to the correct location. Now we can open After Effects. I have a test scene already loaded. There are a few things we have to do before we can use the in-app UI. Let's first go to File, Scripts, and then down to Set Path. This sets the location of After Effects. And then After Effects, Preferences, General, we want to allow scripts to write files and access network. And now we've completed the initial steps to get in-app UI working. What's very important when rendering on network machines is to ensure that all of your media is available on a network share. It's also very important when working with After Effects to ensure that any fonts or plugins that have been used in your scene are also installed on the workers. You can see here my output has been set to a network location. And also my scene resides on a network location. We can now submit a job. Go to File, Scripts, Cube App Finder Submit Render Queue. This will bring up the After Effects job submission window. Let's open expert mode so we can see the extended job parameters. You can see here the range has already been pre-filled from the After Effects file. For this demonstration I'm going to leave the instances set to 1, as I'm only rendering on my machine. In your environment this would differ depending on the size of your farm. You can see here the After Effects version has also been pre-filled. You can also double check that everything is on a network mount. Here you can see the render queue index has been pre-filled and correlates to the correct render queue in After Effects. On a larger farm, you can select your hosts and groups. A useful feature to enable is the retry frame and instance. By setting this to 1, it will automatically retry a frame if it has failed for whatever reason. Now let's set the defaults. This will automatically close the job submission window. When we reopen the submission window, You can see the defaults have been saved. Let's go ahead and submit the job. You can see from this confirmation the job has been submitted. If we open up Cube, you can see the job is now rendering. For further information, visit docs.pipelineeffects.com.